Six months ago, I was at the highest weight of my entire adult life. Previously, in 2022, I had lost 30 pounds, but in 2023, I gained it all back and more. So, by December of last year, I weighed in at 195 pounds, but six months later, I weigh 175. Hello, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, apologies in advance if I end up babbling my way through some emotions here. I, of course, have some stuff written down, but I'm also still trying to, like, work through some mixed feelings that I have about my weight loss journey so far. Also, bigger apologies for taking longer on my break than I expected. Let me go ahead and just talk about what advice I have right now, and then later we can chit chat a bit more. I think the number one thing for me that helped me so far in my weight loss journey was actually tracking my calories. I know that for some people, that's not the smartest route to take, maybe because of their history with tracking calories and getting a bit obsessive about it in the past, which honestly is still a risk, I would say, even for me. But I think I've gotten a lot better at distancing myself and just viewing my calorie tracks as data points, and I don't go too far off of them. Like if I'm legitimately still hungry, I'll still eat. And I think that that's a better balance to have because some days I eat more, some days I eat less. And I'm not so strict about like every single day has to be like within this 100 calorie range because that's just to me not realistic. But it's really helped me being able to track my calories over a few weeks span to be able to see the average and know that I'm still losing weight. That gives me a lot of peace of mind. And I rather know the number then not know it, I guess. Like to me, the hassle of tracking calories isn't that much of a hassle anymore because I'm so used to it now. I'd rather be slightly, like just barely inconvenienced by having to scan or weigh my food than not knowing that number. So to me, it feels worth it. And that would be my first piece of advice to anyone looking to lose weight within the next six months. The second thing that I did in this six month weight loss journey so far has been to find easy, convenient recipes that fit my macros really well. I'm really proud of myself that I finally gave in to a little bit of convenience and I started to buy these like frozen packages of vegetables instead of expecting myself to always buy fresh, always prep the fresh, always like use it before it goes bad because honestly, that just wasn't happening. So I'm happy that I found another way around that to still get some vegetables in by just buying packaged frozen. Like it, they're just as good if not fresher, I've read because they freeze them at like the peak point of best quality, <laughs> allegedly. So buying frozen and making quick meals from frozen vegetables has been a true game changer. Also buying rotisserie chicken from Sam's for like five bucks each, cutting them up and freezing some has also been equally beneficial and like diet changing. So those are a couple things that I did well over the last six months. Although I didn't do them consistently, I still had a lot of days where I was not tracking. And I had a lot of days where I probably wasn't eating that many vegetables. And even more days that I didn't hit my protein goal. Like I have no idea where I was, if I was even close to it, probably not because I wasn't prioritizing it, but I wasn't tracking, so I don't know for sure. And I'll be honest, it surprises me that with how off and on I was the last six months, I still ended up losing 20 pounds. Part of me feels like I didn't do enough, and I, I, I definitely felt that way, and I vocalized that a lot throughout the last six months, like feeling like I was too off track, feeling like I was failing, feeling like I was quitting, just a lot of feelings of like me being so incompetent and me not knowing what I was doing and me just like veering way too far away from the goal. But in retrospect, now that I'm on the other side of it and I'm 20 pounds down, I look back on that and I'm like, why was I being so hard on myself? Like genuinely, evidently I knew a little bit of what I was doing because I still ended up losing weight. And I feel like it was a total waste of time and energy and attention. And it led to my burnout by being too hard on myself when clearly I had to have been doing something right to lose the 20 pounds. So what am I going to do moving forward? Well, the first goal for the next six months is to take my vegetable consumption way more seriously. I have come to the realization that for some periods of time spanning multiple days, my only vegetables will be like fries, which doesn't really count <laughs> and maybe pico de gallo and corn from like my chipotle bowls and the beans in them 
which is like good. It's better than nothing. But like I'm really not eating enough vegetables and I think that I need to up my game and I need to take it a bit more seriously. The second goal for myself in the next six months is to get exercise in my routine because I genuinely don't work out like almost at all, like almost ever. Even if all I can do is get dressed to exercise and do maybe five minutes, I want to try to attempt that at least daily to get it into my routine. And then later I can work on increasing that time that I spend actually working out. But right now I just feel like my routine doesn't even allow for it. Like there's, I don't have like an allotted block of time dedicated to my physical health. The third thing that I want to try really, really hard to improve this next six months is actually being proud of myself and giving myself credit for the efforts that I do take. Again, there was just so much time in the last six months where I wasted a lot of energy and I felt so bad, so guilty, so like negative about this whole experience because I felt like I was failing in some way, that I wasn't doing enough, that my efforts weren't enough. And (laughs) now it just seems so silly because it's like, clearly it was like, clearly I know a bit of what I'm doing since I lost the 20 pounds. So I really need to try to celebrate myself more and to give myself more credit where it's due. And the fourth thing that I want to do a lot better these next six months is actually to get involved in other interests. This one kind of transitions into a bit more of a chit chat about the break that I had. I have recently realized and accepted about myself that I am not someone who's naturally passionate about like nutrition and exercise. And I think that putting that expectation on myself to do a complete 180 of my entire life and like overnight or nearly overnight just get so involved in my calories and my workouts and all this tracking like it literally would make it another job to me and it would be such a chore and such a drag and I'm honestly like this is part of the reason why I got to the size that I am at and that I was at just six months ago is I'm not naturally interested in those things I'm naturally interested in stuff like writing reading Um, movies, Netflix, stuff like that. I don't want this lifestyle change, this dieting, this weight loss journey. I don't want this whole thing to feel like it is occupying my entire life and all of my attention, time, and resources. And I think that that's where I went wrong with my expectations for myself in the last six months and why I felt like I wasn't doing enough was because I wasn't like living, breathing, and having everything be about weight loss. And I think that I expected myself to do that in order to achieve what I wanted to achieve. But now I got on this side of it and I realized that like, that's not necessary, really. It's not. And I don't want to, I don't have that kind of expectation on myself anymore. I don't need to do a complete 180 of my life and change myself into a person who I'm not to lose weight. I don't want to feel like my life and my interests and my hobbies and everything that I do when I'm not at work is revolving around weight loss. I don't think that that's sustainable for me. I think that some people do pour themselves and change their interests, change their lifestyle completely to revolve around health and fitness. And I think that's fine if that's what works for other people. But personally, I have hobbies that are very time consuming and I rather do something that allows weight loss and calorie tracking and exercise. I rather allow that to work in the background of my life and slowly see some progress while I focus on the things that I actually care about. Like I actually care about writing. I'm like naturally passionate about that. I rather focus on that. And I think that when I try to force my focus onto something else like weight loss and calorie tracking and exercise and all these things related to that, I think that that's what led me to so much burnout. And I think that those expectations for myself were what made me feel like I was never doing enough because I never followed through on that expectation. I never like actually made my life 100% revolve around weight loss. 
But I really, I honestly, truly, I hypothesize here. I guess we're going to see and find out, but I really don't think that it needs to be that way. So my plan here is to keep being involved in my natural interests, like writing, like reading. I have a stepping pad that I can set up underneath my standing desk. So as I'm writing, I can walk on that. So hopefully I can get more steps throughout the nights. But I really want to make sure that I have other things going for me apart from weight loss, apart from YouTube. So that way it doesn't feel like everything I achieve here is like all that I achieve in my entire like six months, if that makes sense. Like I don't want how I feel about myself, how, you know, my sense of accomplishments or my disappointment to always revolve around how well I'm doing in my weight loss journey. I just don't think that that's a healthy balance. And I think in order to stay balanced, I need to continue to pursue the things that I'm naturally interested in in addition to some weight loss things. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope something that I said was good advice and helpful. Um, if you haven't already, please do consider leaving a like on this video and clicking subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye.